Hello, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we talk about first order linear recurrence relation. Okay, so whenever you are given any first order linear recurrence relation, you can be solved. You can solve that linear recurrence relation um, by using iteration. So, first order linear recurrence relation is of the form of this form. Okay, it's of this form. A n equals to s times a subscript n minus one and a not equals to t is what our initial condition. So um, where a and s are what arbitrary constants. Okay. So now let's find the general solution of this recurrence relation. So we solve this by iteration. So first of all we have a n to be what s times a subscript n minus one okay so by iteration you see we maintain this s okay and since we can you see since we expressed from this definition we realize that a subscript n can be written as this then we can also write a subscript n minus 1 as what s times a subscript n minus 1 minus 1 okay because we are just replacing n by n minus 1 okay so when you replace n by n minus you see um we have a of n minus 1 you can also rewrite this as what um s times a subscript n minus 2 okay so that's what we have in the bracket and when you simplify you get s squared a subscript n minus 2 you can also rewrite a subscript n minus 2 as s times a subscript n minus 3 okay so that's what we have in the bracket and when you multiply by s squared you obtain this okay so generally generally um generally a subscript n is given by s exponent n minus one times n times a subscript n minus n and this is given by that okay so when you use the initial condition the initial condition says that we are given a not to be equals to what um you were given a not to be equal to t okay so you replace t into our general solution okay to obtain this particular solution now let's solve an example we are to find the rec we are to find the solution of the recurrence relation okay we are to find the solution of the recurrence relation so this is our recurrence relation and this is our initial condition okay so we know that we're giving that a the nth term is given by um 4a subscript n minus 1 okay then we can rewrite this a subscript n minus 1 as so let's maintain this for we can rewrite a subscript n minus 1 as what? 4 times a subscript n minus 1 minus 1. Making what? n minus 2. So that's what we have here. And this is 4 times 4 is what? 4 squared times a subscript n minus 2. Okay. Then the next one, you can also rewrite a subscript n minus 2 as 4 times a subscript n minus 3. And when you multiply by 4 squared, you get 4q times a subscript n minus 3. So generally, um, generally, a subscript n is given by um, this. And when you solve this, you get 4 exponent n times a naught. Okay. But a naught, a naught is given in the question. As three that's our initial condition um, we have it here a naught is equal to three so we just replace our a naught into this 
into this okay so that will be three times four exponent n thank you